There have been lots of talks about something called the metaverse lately. Now recently with Facebook's high profile announcement of its name change to meta and its shift to focus more on developing something called the metaverse, it's really become quite the buzzword. You have your uncles, aunts, friends, families, really everyone under the sun talking about this abstract concept that Facebook is peddling, but what exactly is the metaverse? Hey everyone, it's Girl Gone Crypto here with CoinGecko and thanks for tuning in. If you're not already familiar, CoinGecko is the world's largest independent cryptocurrency data aggregator. So CoinGecko has been providing a comprehensive overview of crypto markets since 2014 and is the trusted source of information for millions of cryptocurrency investors. If you'd like to stay updated on all things crypto, make sure you click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Also, you can follow along on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for all the latest crypto updates. The term metaverse was coined by Neil Stevenson in his 1992 science fiction novel, Snow Crash, which depicts humans interacting with each other in a virtual reality world through avatars. The world consists of two parts, the prefix meta, which means beyond, and the root word verse, which means the universe. So put simply, the term metaverse is generally understood to be a shared virtual reality or VR space that is a representation of our physical world. Or is it? There are several discussions and debates around what the metaverse is or isn't, what it should be or shouldn't. And there's even a popular theory that metaverse isn't a what or a where, but rather a when. So what is the metaverse then? Is it just a digital world that best mimics our real world? Does it need to have a digital world experience through a virtual reality headset? Or can it also be a pixelated 2D world? Is there a standard for the form of metaverse? Or should the metaverse not be limited by technology and how it's presented, but rather a digital social phenomenon that interconnects virtual communities and identities? Can Twitter incorporate NFT avatars and be a metaverse? One thing's for sure, there isn't one general consensus on what the metaverse will be, but hand in hand with Web3, it is believed to be the next stage of evolution for the internet as we know it, overhauling the way we interact or even live. For the time being, open world and sandbox games such as Minecraft or The Elder Scrolls Online with their own unique spin on the digital world have captured a cult-like following among some gamers. The problem with these games is that the game assets and data are held centrally by a single developer. If ever Bethesda decides to pack up and call it a day, there won't be Elder Scrolls Online anymore. To tackle this issue, several projects have leveraged blockchain technology to create a truly decentralized, persistent virtual world where its players will have true ownership of in-game assets, from buildings to shirts to exotic pets and more. So to learn more about this, let us now take a deeper look into some of the projects that have undertaken this tall task of crafting where we may spend more and more of our time in the future. I mean, we've seen how things can go very wrong when the power of virtual reality is controlled by a single evil entity. So to prevent humanity from becoming a bleak dystopian future devoid of freedom, joy, and hope and love, a group of friends banded together to democratize the control of virtual reality. And thus, Decentraland was born. Decentraland is a 3D virtual reality world composed of many parcels of land. Unlike the Oasis in Ready Player One, Decentraland isn't under the control of a single entity. Instead, it's collectively governed by the holders of mana, land, and estate. The 90,601 unique parcels of land in Decentraland are represented by a set of Cartesian coordinates, each of which is a 16 meter by 16 meter real estate that grants its owners complete freedom and authority to operate within. Want to build a giant T-Rex with a sniper nest in its mouth? Go ahead. How about an ancient Nordic ruin filled with undiscovered horrors and treasures? Be my guest. The beauty of Decentraland and other decentralized metaverses lies in the collective creativity of its denizens, granting visitors an element of unexpectedness intrigue and awe as they explore the virtual world. Since its public release back in February 2020, Decentraland by the hands of its many denizens have evolved to become a bustling metaverse filled with interesting places to visit. Fancy your fortune today? Head down to the Tomino Casino to see if Lady Luck will shine upon you, or join a game of battle racers where you can compete with others in a heart-pounding racing game. Even Sotheby's, the world's oldest auction house, has established an art gallery in the Decentraland metaverse dedicating a newfound focus on NFTs. And these are just uh, the very tip of the iceberg. Other activities include rearing dragons and piloting spaceships. The possibilities are virtually endless in Decentraland, shackled only by the limits of your imagination. 
The Sandbox is another decentralized virtual world where players can build, play, earn, create, explore, just like Decentraland. The main difference is that the Sandbox is presented in the form of a voxel art where 3D models are created entirely out of tiny 3D cubes called, well, voxels. And a similar comparison would be the ever popular Sandbox game, Minecraft. So what started out as a mobile game quickly segued into developing a new blockchain-based multiplayer cross-platform 3D metaverse after its acquisition by Anamonica Brands in 2018. The goal was simple, to overhaul the sandbox gaming industry and disrupt the market leaders in Roblox and Minecraft with a revolutionary play-to-earn NFT model. Beyond being just a game, the sandbox also has three other integrated products, Boxedit, Marketplace, and Game Maker. Firstly, you have Voxedit, a free 3D voxel modeling software that allows users to construct and animate 3D assets with voxels, which can then be registered on the blockchain as an NFT. Then you have GameMaker, which is exactly what it sounds like, a 3D game builder that is designed to be user-friendly with no coding experience required. Similarly, these assets can then be used in-game to help expand the metaverse. Last but not least, you have Marketplace, a platform for you to trade, buy, and sell the Sandbox NFTs, including the ones you made. Now, compared to Decentraland, the Sandbox is a tad bigger with a total of 166 464 lands, with each measured to be a perfect square of 96 meters by 96 meters. A Somium Space is another open source social virtual reality world with a focus on crafting an established economy and virtual currency. Players can transact using Somium Cubes, the in-game currency for various goods and services within the virtual space, from amusement park tickets to buying a dragon pet, traveling via teleprompter, and more. And for those who are business savvy, running a virtual business within the metaverse is actually a viable way to earn money in the form of cubes. Initially hosted on the Ethereum network, Sonium Space recently announced in October this year that they plan to integrate with other chains, starting with the Solano network to offer a more efficient, smoother user experience. So what makes Sonium Space stand out from other metaverses is its focus on also developing VR technology and hardware. Recently, they announced their strategic investment in VR Engineers, a leading manufacturer of new generation high resolution VR headsets, as well as Tesla Suit, a firm that produces full body haptic suits for more visceral VR experiences. What this means is that the sense of touch will soon be enabled for VR, and you'll soon be able to feel what your avatars feel in the VR world. That's right, it won't be long before you can rock a getup like this, but I'd be careful doing stuff like this while wearing that if I were you. The metaverse as we know it is still in its infancy stage that needs quite a bit of polishing and refinement. In truth, it's closer to being an abstract concept. But already, we're seeing big commercial brands like Facebook, Microsoft, Nvidia, and Epic Games hopping on board the virtual reality train. This will greatly help accelerate the development of not just the metaverse, but also the hardware required to handle an ultra-realistic, immersive VR experience as we prepare for mass adoption. That being said, if the metaverse or metaverses were to transcend into becoming an extended reality of our physical world, true ownership is a must have. So how can we call a virtual land and a house a home if one doesn't even own it? Well, here's where Web3 development from projects such as Decentraland, The Sandbox, Sonium Space, and Treeverse come into play. Even in the early stages, we can already see migration to the digital world, with KuCoin recently launching a 21-story virtual office building within the Blocktopia metaverse. The metaverse looks likely to be the next step for our digital world. The question is when and in what shape or form. So before that happens, it's best to get familiar with it. So go in and give a couple of these projects a spin. And that is about a wrap for the metaverse. So what other metaverse projects do you know of? What's your view of the metaverse? Leave your comments down below and we'll see you in the metaverse.